Okay, so now let's turn these four photos. Like I said, we have four photos stacked on top of each other. I'm just going to undo that a couple of times and put them back on top. There we go. I'm going to select all four photos and then come right up here to Window Menu, Interactive, Object States. Okay, it says click the new button to make each object a separate state. Each object meaning each one of those four photos a separate state. So I'm going to click this sheet of paper, sorry, this plus button. I'm always used to that being a sheet of paper from older versions. But select my four photos, create a new object state. There we go. And InDesign doesn't know what I'm trying to make. So I'm going to highlight the name and call that Beachhead States. And I'll hit return. Okay, so I'm going to do that with the next one. Click and drag across all four. Click the little plus. Highlight the name multi-state and call that Duke States. And I'll hit return. I'll scroll down to Flint. Select all four that are stacked on top of each other. Click the plus to convert all four into their states. Highlight the name of the state instead of a generic multi-state. We'll call that Flint States and hit return. And the final one right here, Gung Ho. Select him. Click the plus. Highlight the name of the state and call that Gung Ho States. Well, great. Now, what do I do with those? Okay, we'll close this up. Well, I do have buttons right here. So I want to see if this button is even going to work. So I'll go to Window Menu, Interactive, Buttons and Forms. And I'm going to click this Previous button right here. And let's see, on click. Well, on click, nothing's set to work. Well, darn it. Okay, let's see. On click. I'm going to click the plus and it says go to previous state. Now it's going to ask me what object state are you working with? It's only going to recognize the one that is currently on that page. It's not going to recognize Duke and Flint and Shipwreck and Scarlet. If I put them all on one page, I would see a list. But here, I don't even have to click. It will go. Now I've got a rollover effect for that. It's already built into the button. That's cool. Now let me click on this one right here. On click, the action will go to the next state. That's the only one that's on this page. And I'll click outside. Okay, before I start doing all the other ones, let's make sure these buttons actually work. I'm going to bring my preview panel into view again. Click the bottom right corner for all pages in this document. Click the bottom left corner to load the information so we can preview all the pages. It'll just take a few seconds, depending on how much you have and how many pages and how much content is on the pages, but here we go. All right, uh, we did it for Beachhead. So I'm gonna click, got my rollovers working and my object states working nice now i can see beachhead as um, action figures paintings video games comic books this is great okay i know these two buttons worked so i'm going to try something different here let's bring this back over and since i know i got these two buttons to work i'm going to click shift click edit and copy now let's scroll down and let's delete these non-functioning ones see they don't work yet so let's delete these two and go to uh, edit paste in place click outside and now let's see if these work nope every time you paste it to a brand new page 
it doesn't know what object state you're referring to. So you got to reset them each time. Okay, on click, that's going to go to the previous state. It's automated, so this will go a little quicker. Click, go to previous or next state, and it's automatically going to recognize that. And that's all I need to do for these buttons. So we'll do these four pages. Click, on click, the action will go to the previous state. Click, on click, the action will go to the next state. They've already got a rollover built in. It'll automatically recognize the object state that's on that page. So that can save us some time. Click. On click, that will go to a previous state of that one object state that's on the page. And here on click, it will go to the next state of the one object state that I have. And the rollover is built in. Okay, I'm just going to double check because, again, we're only working on these first four pages. But I just want to check Scarlett's page here really quick. Okay, hers is already set up to work. Good. So all the other ones, if I just click once, these are already set up to work. These are great. I just had to rebuild the first four. One, two, three, and four. So now, let's do one more test on all of our object state buttons, just to make sure the whole document is working. There's my preview panel again. Click the bottom right for all the pages. Click the bottom left to load all the page information one more time. And we're gonna test out every page here, make sure all our object states are working so we don't have useless little red buttons. So I'll just click here, click, 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 I know those work. Let's go to the next page, click, 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 click. Next page, these are the four that I worked on right here. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. And these are the ones that were saved from previous work. So those work, those work, those work. All of these object state buttons are working. Nice. All right. My document is coming along really well. Nothing really to do on page 10. Nothing to really do on page 11. But ooh. I got a lot of work to do here for the video. Okay, so we're gonna move this out of the way. And on my InDesign document, let's close out these, that panel there. I'm gonna scroll down to the last page and click. And we'll do some video work, some media work in the next tutorial.